Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Oh boy, I haven't even started fishing today already. I am pretty tired. As a matter of fact, I just came down a little cliff to get to this particular spot here on the creek. Anyways, today is Labor Day, September 3rd, 2018. It is going to be my outing, number 123 of this year. You know, there's this creek around my area, as you guys can see. I've always wanted to wade the creek. I have fished this place before, but I have never waded before, right? I fished this creek at one very particular hole. So today we are going to branch out and do a little bit of exploring over here. I'm going to go up and down this creek, try to find some other holes, and ultimately we're going to find out what species of fish are in this creek that I have not caught before. So I got with me here a great arsenal of lures that we're going to be using today. Uh, Gary Yamamoto Senkos, three inches, spinner baits, cast master, spoons. These are for the bigger species. I also got my size 16, 18 mustad hooks with little split shots, my Tanago hooks, and the Aerotaco Microfinase and Isoptera soft plastic collection for the smaller species of fish. I hope you guys get to enjoy this video. I figure Labor Day, everyone would probably be fishing the lakes, the ponds, the rivers around the area, right? Nobody wants to, you know, fish this little beautiful, wonderful, peaceful creek over here. So I probably have it all to myself on this holiday day. All right, let me put my waders on. We gotta get started. Try to guess before you finish watching this video, how many species are we going to land today, huh? I am putting my hopes maybe five or six, but you know, you never know, right? So stay tuned, we shall find out. Alrighty, I am almost ready. I'm tying on here the Aerotaco Microfinase. Anisoptera on a 164 ounce trout magnet jig head. I'm using an ultralight setup today, of course, because I'm wading a creek. So I'm rolling with my Casking Centron 500, my Casking Calamus ultralight, and four pounds Casking Fluorocoat test. All right, we got to start the day fishing one of the holes that I have fished in this creek. This is the hole right here right so we gotta get the easy species out of the way first now i would like to emphasize my rarest catch from this particular creek is probably a northern snakehead the chana argus i would be extremely surprised if we landed one today in this creek right and the chana argus is here because this creek is connected to the delaware river so yeah, let's fish this hole that I'm very familiar with today. And after that, I'm gonna wade either upstream or downstream in search of new spots. All right, first cast. Oh my goodness, the instant hit. First cast provided as an instant hit for our first species of the day, which is the Lepomis macrocarus, a little bluegill i'm in the creek today so i can wet my hands look at that oh bluegill is coming up with some illness here as well but it still counts huh look at that choked on that anisoptera one species count for the day well like i said we are taking care of the easier species today first and the bluegill certainly classifies as an easy species from this creek Ooh, bro, he was ready to go. Oh, got something. What we got here? That's another bluegill. Oh man, second, second fish of the day. I thought it was going to be something a little bit different. It turned out to be the same, same species. Okay, go back. Oh, there's a bass here. A nicer bass. Got something again. Got another bluegill though. 
It can be just bluegill here, right? Yeah, second species of the day. Getting the easy ones out of the way. It is a red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus. Not bad, not bad. We are the count of two species. We got the bluegill and the red breast sunfish. And our species hunt shall continue. This area all looks pretty damn good. <sighs> Sucks to never have live bait. Oh, found a night. Wait, was that a night crawler? Yes, that is a night crawler. Found a night crawler right here. Come with me. There we go. Got our live bait. Oh, there's got to be more of those around here, right? That that can be the only one. Come on. Yay! That's what I'm talking about, bro. Get out of here. This this one's mine. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, this prime bait for micro fishing. I just left the hole, the hole over there. We are at two species of fish. I got small hooks because I've seen some micro species. But guess what? I didn't have live bait. Well, haha. Now our problems are solved. I can catch some more species in this creek. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Don't get off, don't get off. What is the shiner? What is the shiner here? Oh, what is that? What is that? Don't get off, don't get off. Ooh, took me forever to catch this one. Species number three of the day. What is this? This is a, no way. It's a fall fish. The Semotilus corporalis. It's a fall fish. The mystery shiner is a fall fish. Oh, folks. I saw that school of shiner down there. <sighs> folks, I saw that school of shiner down there. I was thrilled. I thought it would be a new species of fish, right? Maybe something extraordinary. But no, as it turns out, it is just a little fall fish, the Semotilus corporalis. So, all right, now I know, <laughs> now I know that there is fall fish in this creek. Huh? We are at three species of fish in this video. Hopefully, we're gonna find something a little bit more exciting, right? Ooh, let's release this fella over here. Okay, he's good to go. And if you guys ever need a shot, a shovel, all right? There we go, man. We got here this shovel. Oh, got him. Finally. Jeez, Louise, just to add to the species for today, took me quite a while to get one bass. Oh my goodness, I don't care about sizes now. This is the species number four of the day. I saw a bunch of little larges right around the area, but they were all so finicky that I had to actually put live bait on to entice them to bite. They just wouldn't bite on yours. <sighs> well, all right. Now that we are four different species of fish, I think it is finally time to say bye-bye to the whole that we love so much here, right? And wade downstream to other holes. This one right here is so highly pressured, right? Which is why we're gonna wade downstream now to see what is down there. Hopefully, the fish over there are going to be easier to catch. I'm retying the jig. There's something here that is pretty damn hungry. Got him. It's a green sunfish. Ooh! I knew there was something there that was pretty damn hungry. It's another species for today. Ah, species number five, I believe. Very nice, very nice. This is the thing that always fascinates me when it comes to creek fishing. A little pocket of water like this this tiny pocket of water right here has fish in it can you guys believe it huh it has life wow it's 
Is there anything else in here then? Oh my goodness gracious, another green sunfish. Yeah, there's a bunch of green sunfish living under this tree, tree root. This is for you to see, right? You can fish one body of water. As far as you hit different environments, you catch different species of fish. This is fascinating. Wow, there's a bigger, even a bigger green sunfish right here. Yeah, there's an even bigger green sunfish. Unbelievable. Green sunfish living in a little creek. Uh, this one's got a little illness in it too. I don't know. Got some uh, unknown illness. Three little green sunfish from one little pocket of water. <laughs> What is this? Yeah, look how easy it is to catch the bass here, even the baby ones. That's because here is not pressured at all, right? This baby bass right here probably never saw well, an anisoptera or any other type of lure before. Man, he really, really wanted it to eat it that bad. That's pretty crazy, huh? Nice little fella. Hopefully one day he's going to grow up to become a five pounder. Nice little hole right here. knew it what is this another species for today yeah look at this oh boy i knew it from the moment i saw it i mean this is a very very tiny one but it is a small mouth bass the micropterus dolomiel now that's that's like one of my pb smallest ones ever though well I figure it's not every day that you guys actually get to see a little smallmouth bass huh? inside a photo tank. Many of you, you really don't live in the east coast, right? Or places that have the smallmouth bass. So there you go. This is our species number six of the day. The smallmouth bass, Micropterus dolomiel. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful little fella. <laughs> As I told you guys, at least five, six species today, and today is going well. So let me release this guy where we caught it in this little pool of water right here in this tiny, tiny creek. He's probably terrified. He's like, man, what the heck is going on? Yeah, fear, fear no more, little fish. We're going to put you back right now, okay? Nobody's going to eat you. Nothing's going to happen to you. Hopefully, you're going to grow up to become a wonderful giant in the future. Oh, look at that, what we got here? It's a red breast. From the little tiny hole comes a very, very dark and beautiful red breast sunfish. Tiny Creek Fishing, man. This should be the title of this video, but no, 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 no. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go with the tiny fever. I do this all the time, right? This ain't no secret for EPF. I have to say, I am a little bit disappointed with this place. I just reached the end of this creek. That is the mighty Delaware River right there. So, I mean, all my adventure is definitely coming to an end quantity wise i really really slayed today there is no doubt that in this creek right here there's a lot of red breast sunfish the lepomis auditus a lot of green sunfish the lepomis cyanellus but i have to say even though we did so well quantity wise and even though we caught six species of fish in this video I am still a little bit disappointed because my expectations for this particular creek were so high, you know? I really thought we would find, I don't know, some bigger fish in some hidden pockets, right? Because it is connected to the Delaware River. So fish from the Delaware River can swim upwards to the creek until the dam area, right? And even so, we didn't find any unusual species. We didn't find any species of size bigger 
So yeah, I am a little bit disappointed with that. Well, nevertheless, I do always tell my subscribers, right? It is a great feeling to explore new places and fish new places. So even though we didn't get into new today, it was still a wonderful experience being out here, right? And get to uh, kind of map all the different holes in the creek, right? Gotta become like the whole master, right? But anyways, this is it for today. It's super hot out here and I am super tired. Time for me to get to Wawa and get myself hydrated. This is it for today, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Six species of fish, not that bad, right? I already mentioned two of them, red breast sunfish, green sunfish. We also caught the fall fish, the Semotilus corporalis. We got a tiny little smallmouth bass, the Microterus dolomiel, a tiny largemouth bass, the Microterus salmoides, and just a few bluegill, the Lepomis macrocerus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time. Tie lines and take it easy.